Okay, so now we're going to assemble column E, which is going to be used when you're in a right open corner. So you're going to have a left return wall, and they have five columns. That fifth column is going to be your column E. So if you imagine, you're going to have the main aisle, and then you'll have a cross out, and this will be an open corner. So in order to do that, you take part 26 and part 14, in this way, because we want to connect to this column. 26 mirrors the open column here. And now, since this is going to be the end of your return, your wall, you're going to want to be this big finish. So it's going to be part 27, which is, let's do part 14 first. The small ones are easier. So, just take this forward. Now, 27, that's the slat wall, it's going to be finished on the end. Now we create the foundation where this side has slat wall, this side has slat wall, this side has slat wall, and this is connecting to your column D. Now I'm going to grab part 34, which is the middle piece, has slat wall. I'm going to drop it in here. I'm going to drop it on the back as well. And 27, since it's on the bottom, it goes on top. So, this is the end of your column. And this is what people will see walking down the aisle. All finished. This side needs to connect to column D, so slots up, banner hole in the back so you can drop a banner on the back side behind the shelves, and that part 26 is on the bottom, so it goes on top. And last, part 14, which was on the bottom, now goes on top, and you slide it in, and let gravity drop. Same goes on the back side, on the bottom, the top. So, you've got a left return wall and then a 20 foot run to a cross aisle. So, finish, you can merchandise here, you can merchandise on the aisle, and you always want it to be finished on the back side in the event that you end up in an island, all of this is finished. And that's column 